What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So we have interesting, interesting situation that is brewing, and that's the opportunity for former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is top 10 pound for pound best fighters in the world, and Earl the Truth Spence Jr., who's coming off the first loss of his career, first knockdown in his career, and the first knockout loss of his career. Earl Spence Jr. took on undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, now the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world, in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is now 40 wins, no loss, no draw. 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. Errol Spence is 28 wins, one loss, no draws. 22 big wins by way of knockout. 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. So um, they fought July 29th for Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. Errol Spence suffered a major set setback. A major loss get dropped in the second round twice in the seventh round and stopped in the ninth round and battered in between that it's a bad loss for errol spence in his career he looked like you know um a very battered man when it was all said and done nonetheless errol spence has in the contract a rematch clause 30 working days to activate the rematch clause he activated the rematch clause and he was hoping to push for the fight to take place at junior middleweight super welterweight 154 pounds um and so uh now terence crawford initially seemed like his stance was that he would oblige he would do the fight the rematch at 154 pounds but terence crawford's deciding to go and seemingly in a different direction is it's being reported that terence crawford is offering the fight the rematch at 147 okay uh and if he has to go to 154 he wants to be paid more money now the winner gets to choose the weight and gets to uh receive a bigger share of the pie the purse which terence, terence crawford is on a uh, part to do but errol spence wants to fight at 154 he felt weight drained and now terence crawford says listen fight at 147 take the fight or no fight um and Terence Crawford's team is saying that they're hoping that Errol Spence don't take the rematch. Terence Crawford wants to go in a different direction. So it's being reported now Errol Spence and his team is now officially looking to go in a different direction, weighing out their options. And one option is Errol Spence is already registered now as a junior middleweight super welterweight, 154 pounder. He's number three in the WBC top 10 rankings. And since he's not going to get the fight with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence represents a major fight, okay? Now, looks like Errol Spence could be fighting uh, the Tower in Inferno, Sebastian Fandora, or he could be possibly fighting Charles Conwell, okay? Which is more interesting, right? Um, Charles Conwell is 18 wins, no losses, no draw, 13 wins by way of knockout, 5 foot 9 with a 70 inch arm reach, 25 years of age. It looks like that could possibly be the next fight for um, Errol Spence Jr., right? Again, it's shocking that Terrence Crawford is choosing to take this stance. It's completely unseen. Uh, nobody foresaw this happening, and nonetheless, it's happening. So uh, it's pretty shocking to the boxing world that he's taking this stance. But nonetheless, Errol Spence has got to figure it out. Uh, and so Errol Spence is strongly focused on a fight with Charles, Charles Conwell or moving on, right? Um, and he fought November 2022. He beat Juan Carlos Abreu, uh, majority decision victory, Charles Conwell, right? Uh, so these are the options for Errol Spence now because Brian Mendoza uh, was an option, you know, but now he's going to fight Tim Zhu, okay? Uh, so Brian Mendoza is going to fight the WBO super champion, Tim Zhu. Uh, they're going to fight, you know, uh, they're going to headline their card and it's looking like, um, October 15th. Okay. 
in Australia. So Tim Zoo and Brian Mendoza gonna fight. And so that leaves the likes of, you know, Sebastian Fundora, uh, Charles Conwell, you know, um, and Brian Castano. Now, Brian Castano is interesting. Now, Sebastian Fundora is 20 wins, one loss, one draw, 13 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age. But more importantly, he's six foot six with an 80 inch arm reach at 25 years of age. He suffered the first loss of his career. Uh, that was April of this year when he got brutally knocked out in the seventh round by Brian Mendoza. Uh, but he was the WBC interim uh, mandatory challenger and he got knocked out. So now he's trying to get back in the, the thick of things. Uh, so that makes it interesting, possibly, you know, a fight with Brian, uh, um, uh, Charles Conwell, Sebastian Fundora, and uh, Brian Castano. Brian Castano was the unified champion, okay? He's 17 wins, one loss, two draws, 12 wins by way of knockout. He's five foot seven and a half with a 67 and a half inch arm reach, orthodox fighter. And he's coming off back-to-back -back fights with Jamel Charlo, to which he lost uh, May of 2022, the Undisputed Showdown. The first one ended in a draw, the second one saw him lose. Uh, he got knocked out brutally in the 10th round of that fight. And Jamel Charles is now the undisputed champion. So uh, Brian Castano, he actually called out Errol Spence before he lost to Jamel Charlo and drew with Jamel Charlo because he beat Errol Spence in the amateurs. Errol Spence, although he lost badly to uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, he got dominated, got stopped. He's still a very big name. Uh, he's still a very big draw. And he's a very big payday for his opponent. Now, um, he's going to make the most money fighting Terrence Crawford as Terrence Crawford will make the most money fighting Errol Spence in the rematch. But Terrence Crawford just is not interested in the rematch, okay? He's made that abundantly clear now, according to these reports. Uh, and if he stands on this square, Errol Spence has to move on because he's already registered at 154 and Errol Spence has already told the world he can't make 147, right? Uh, and it's ironic because Terrence Crawford is on record saying that making 147 is not easy for him, right? But he can make it. Errol Spence can't. So it seems like Terrence Crawford is putting Errol Spence in a position where he knows he's not going to accept the fight. Uh, that Errol Spence is simply... Now, his competitive nature and his drive could see Errol Spence attempt to do it again, but I doubt it. I doubt it. The way he got batted and the way he got beat and he feels like he was weight drained, it makes no sense for Errol Spence to attempt to make 147 again. So either they're gonna pay Errol Sp uh, Terrence Crawford the money he's looking for to go to 154 and challenge Errol Spence, which is not gonna bode well for him moving in the, in the future to try to make big fights. But nonetheless, he goes that direction. Errol Spence gets his rematch and we'll see the outcome. Or Errol Spence starts to look to become a champion at 154. Uh, and the best steps is to fight Charles Conwell or Sebastian Fundora. Now, Sebastian Fundora is the bigger name. Uh, he's the bigger draw. Mexican fan base. They could put that fight in AT&T, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. And uh, Errol Spence is known to sell there. It's a Mexican fan base there. That would be a big fight. Uh, they're both coming off losses. Or he could fight Charles Conwell. We could see how that fight plays out. That's a tough fight for Errol Spence. Um, or he could fight Brian Castano, you know, um, but Charles Conwell is number one in the WBC rankings and, uh, and Sebastian Fundora is number six, I believe in the WBC rankings, but he'll move up extremely quickly because of the politics and the star power. So Errol Spence is going to have to make a decision. And according to what I've been told, he's weighing out his options now. He's looking for a plan B. Okay, Errol Spence is starting to, you know, maybe they're starting to feel like the Terrence Crawford fight is just not going to happen. Or they can't, you know, simply make 147 pounds, right? Uh, Business-wise, this is not the best move for Terrence Crawford because he wants these big fights. And I believe they're going to freeze him out moving forward. If he takes this stand with Errol Spence, I believe they're going to freeze him out. Is he well in his right to make this decision and this choice? 1,000%. But principle-wise, it's going to look bad for him doing business moving forward. So we got to see how it unfolds and plays out. 
Uh, but if I'm Errol Spence, I think the fight that he should take is Sebastian Fundora. Uh, it's a notable fight. It's a marquee fight for him. Um, it's a winnable fight for him. And it's a, essentially a, a quote-unquote sideshow. No disrespect to Sebastian Fundora. But to see a six-foot-six Mexican boxer that's very active fight, um, you know, that's and he, and he could take that fight to Texas and in a cell. So, you know, um, Brian Castano lost to Jamel Charlo. Got to see how he bounced back. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the perfect fight, in my opinion, would have been Tim Zhu, right? Fight for that WBO title. Fight and beat Tim Zhu, if you could do that. You know, become a world champion. So let's see how this unfolds. But Errol Spence is uh, apparently preparing to move forward. Let's see. Uh, but that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.